video, we're going to walk through Autopilot's Proactive Heads Up feature and how easy it is to send your first Proactive Heads Up message live from your Autopilot account. Proactive Heads Up is an interactive pop-up message that's shown to unknown users when they visit your tracked web pages. If Autopilot doesn't recognize a visitor, we'll assume they're an unknown contact and try and engage them with varying Heads Up messages to capture their email address and turn them into a known contact within your Autopilot account. To create a proactive heads up within Autopilot, you'll first need to navigate to the proactive heads up section of the Autopilot dashboard, which can be found just above the settings cogwheel in the left hand navigation panel. From here, you'll need to click the big green plus button to create a new proactive heads up message. Once you've done that, you'll see that we offer three different types of proactive heads up a call to action a reply back, and a subscribe. All three can be configured in exactly the same way and will look very similar to the end user. The main difference is the way in which we're asking an unknown user to engage with the heads up message. The call to action is really designed to drive unknown users to a specific page or action trigger, such as a feedback form or event sign up page. At Autopilot, we use this version a lot to drive webinar registrations. The reply back allows an unknown user to start an email conversation with a member of your team. It's the closest that we have to live chat, except it doesn't require a member of your team to be constantly monitoring the questions that come through because we'll automatically email them a response should it be engaged with. We use this version here at Autopilot specifically on our knowledge base, to ensure that visitors are finding the information that they're searching for. Lastly, the subscribe option allows you to capture a contact's first name, last name, and email address, and then add them to a list in Autopilot. The best use case for this is really on your blog page, asking unknown users to sign up for your newsletter. Now, once you've selected the appropriate message type for your use case, you'll first need to give the message an internal name, and then click on the continue button. From here, you'll be asked to select the page on which that proactive heads up message will appear should autopilot and register an unknown user. You have two options. The first is to select any tracked page that a visitor lands on if they're unknown. The second option is to select a specific page. Now you have a couple of different options when selecting a specific page in a URL. It can be is, begins with, contains, or does not contain. Simply enter in the URL, and then select whether there are additional URLs that the same message should appear on. For today though, let's look at the any page configuration. Now, step two is where you really get to customize this message. The first thing you'll want to do is select a team member for this message to appear from, and then pop in the message that will appear in the pop-up box whenever an unknown user visits a tracked page on your website. Next, you'll want to let us know whether you intend to capture the first name and last name alongside the email address, but it's up to you as to whether or not we do capture these fields. Because I'm getting unknown users to sign up for my newsletter, I am going to capture the first name in this demo because I want to be able to personalize those newsletters with the first name of my new contact. Next, you'll want to select the button text that appears within the message. And lastly, you also have the option to select the color that the call to action button will be displayed as on that heads up message. We have a couple of different options, uh, including a black option if you want to go for something that looks pretty plain and simple on your website, and also a URL link if you're just looking for kind of that basic look and feel to your pop-up message on your site.
For today though, let's go for something a bit out of the box and I'm gonna go with green. Now, because this is a subscribed version of Practive Heads Up, I'm asked to select the list that I want to add contacts to should they engage with my Practive Heads Up subscribe message. I have a couple of options here. I can either select a list that already exists within my autopilot account, or I can go ahead and add a new list. Clicking continue will show me a preview of that proactive heads up message as though I were an unknown user visiting a tracked page for the first time. You can see that the message is truncated at first and really the reason we do this is so that people can go ahead and scroll through your page and have a normal visitor experience without having to engage with the heads up message. Should they want to, however, they can hover over that uh, truncated version and the full message will pop up as will the option to enter their first name, email address, and then sign up for the weekly newsletter. Once I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and publish and exit. And that proactive heads up will then live on my site on the pages that I've specified. And again, for this demo, I'd specified any page with the autopilot tracking code on it. Now, when I log on to my site, you can see that that proactive heads up message appears at the bottom right hand corner of my screen asking me to sign up for the newsletter. Now, there are many innovative ways that you can use proactive heads up messaging to drive those leads on your website or within your app. Here are a few examples of autopilot customers that are using it really innovatively and effectively. The first is a customer called Granula, and Granula uses the subscribe proactive heads up to drive blog signups on their blog page. You can see here, bottom right hand corner of the screen, truncated at first. When I hover over it, I have the option to enter in my email address and sign up for their weekly newsletter. City Internships is another customer of ours who are using the reply back version of Proactive Heads Up to drive partnership opportunities on the educators page. So you can see here, when I hover over that message, City Internships is letting me know that they're always looking to partner with educators and asking me to leave them a message if I'd like to talk further about it. Last but not least, Simple Green Smoothies uses the call to action version of Proactive Heads Up to drive subscriptions for their smoothie service. You can see here, their Proactive Heads Up is on every page that an unknown user hits and it's asking me to join for a free Simple 7 experience. If I click tell me more, I'm redirected to a landing page so that I can pop in my details and sign up for their Simple 7 program. So as you can see, there really are so many different ways that you can use the proactive heads up to drive engagement and convert those leads from your website. If you're keen to hear more, our marketing team has written a fantastic blog article called 10 Creative Ways to Use On-Site and In-App Messaging, and you can find that on our Liftoff blog simply by searching for Heads Up.